four wide around this venue. Get on your feet, give them a round of applause, wave your phone, whatever Here you want to do. This is the greatest show on dirt. Put your hands together, the greener, and make some noise for the 2022 Queensland Productions and End Title Club. Down the front, straight away, back into two by two. Your top point scorer, leading them on pole for this year's Queensland Productions and End title of Brisbane, will be your top ten. All the way from Lismore, Madison Harkin has got Levy O'Brien for company. Beto Nashi Spence, Graham. There's so many more cars. All our B main contestants. We're set. For the 21-22 Queensland production to their title. Oh. oh, no, we're not. Is there some games being played out there right now or what? Chief these... Stewart on the radio. Time to settle down, boys. These boys need to be careful. We've got time constraints. Let's give it another crack. Leicester and Berkeley, Pagel and Henshaw. 24 of the best production sedans in the country. Let's get set and dirty for 40. Lights are green and we're away. And an even dispatch in hits it with the better of the start. Look at Brad Shearer straight to the top in a turn number one. He's going to make it stick as Berkeley, Henshaw, and left to go three wide for the race lead and Henshaw pops out out front. Henshaw edges to the lead. Berkeley's on his, his outside. Shearer is on the top going backwards, but he's got to run that top in early. Berkeley's going to go up there as well. Pagel down in the third spot. And uh, Lester's there in that fourth as well. Lester this time goes to the top side of the race track in the Brisbane 59 car. Looking a bit of a run on Chris Pagel. This top four looking pretty racy. Henshaw, though, the car out front, he leads that one. Henshaw down in the turn one, Berkeley still upstairs, Pagel in second spot. Then it's Lester, Hutchinson, Shearer, Gary Harris Jr. and Hazelgrove. That's how they run right now. And they're running all over the racetrack, top and bottom. Darren Lester complained after the last heat race that the car was still too loose. I tell you what, I think that might have cost him right now, Brendan, because he's still very broadside through the corners. He might have up a little bit, but not enough for this racetrack as he's slightly going backwards as the top three continue to build. Top three definitely starting to form a gap now. But as we said, you've got to get to those final 15 or 20 laps. There's no point going hard all out early on. So a lot of these cars are going to be taking it relatively easy, as easy as you can. Berkeley comes up, puffs up a big... Bit of dust as he exits turn number two, getting high and wide against the fence. Sonny, the one at the bottom of the racetrack, popped up some dust as well. Big gaggle of cars as Alan Nash is going backwards in the field. Bad exit there to turn number four. There's race cars all over this track right now. Gary Harris Jr. finding himself up into the seventh place right now in the Bundaberg 26. So Shearer still following on the back of Hutchinson. Those top three skipped away, left Leicester on his own race right now. Ash Graham is the one bouncing up to the concrete behind Madison Harkin with the uh, 77 of Martin in there as well. Where do you look right now? The three Lismore drivers all battling it out. Ash Graham to the better of Harkin and Martin. Sit just outside that top 10 right now. They're being run at a cracking pace at the moment. Henshaw driving on the bottom. He's got Pagel right behind him, handing the rear end. 
Shearer tries to go down the inside of Hutchinson. They're side by side for mid spot now. Shearer dives down the inside. Hutcher gives him no room. They're side by side through one and two. That's all that Brad Shearer needs to slide up in a fifth spot. Can he progress from there, Brendan? That's going to be the question. He's got a lot of pace in the front of the 30. Got past Hutcher. Leicester's a bit of a gap away. Leicester starting to catch the top three once oh, again. Vito, heavy contact with the outside wall. I was just about to say he's been running the top on his own. And the car came up and smacked into the side of the number seven. So Berkeley now is on the back of Chris Pagel. It's side by side in the front straight away for second and third. Here's the hard side of the top of the racetrack. Pagel gives Henshaw his shot for the lead now. Berkeley gets to run out of top. And sure, comes up and shuts the door on Berkeley. They're still side by side through the final corner. Berkeley noses in front. You've got a new race leader, Mr. Highside, John Berkeley, that time round. They're three wide for the race lead. Berkeley still fighting the outside of Henshaw. Hagel just watching these two. As Berkeley gets the job done for now. Leicester, still a while back, then it's Shearer and Hutchinson, no change in the order further back. Dan Henshaw still running the bottom of the race track to perfection right now. John Berkeley, running into a couple of car lanes, lead in this. Chris Bayo, as you said, just sitting there in third spot right now in the Gimby 2, buying his time, probably waiting for a yellow. Expect him to come out so far, so good here. No cars in the infield, Brendan. We still have every single race car running right now. You've yeah, just jinxed it as Levy O'Brien brings the 99 to the infield. Unfortunately, it's the first retirement of this Queensland titles. Henshaw comes back underneath Berkeley. The battle's certainly not done with as Pagel goes to the top side now. And blue flag starting to get away, Brendan. That will be the first lap car that our leaders arrived to. Norm Townsend, the 68 machine. Berkeley the first to arrive with the scene around the outside. Townsend holds the bottom. Leicester still, look at how high Leicester's going right now. Trying to make something happen, that's for sure. Looks like Stoddy's going to be out of this one. He's looking for a spot to come down and retire. Henshaw back down underneath Pagels right there. There's nothing between these cars. Berkeley still leads from the Henshaw. Berkeley getting chased by two. Give me drivers right now. The South Manette, number nine, the Queensland champ. He's hustling. Strong everything he's got. How's the arm bump starting to fall, Brendan? These oh. blind races, you're going to feel it. If your car's not handling right or your power steering's not perfect, I tell you, you'll be hurting right about now. This many laps. Flat chap, especially in that lead group. Shearer's got a bit of space back in fifth. He'll be waiting for a yellow. For these top three, there's nothing between them. Half a car length, and even less in some cases. Ash Graham's the one on the move right now. He's got himself well into the top ten. Jesse Barnes got with him past Beto. Steve Jordan, another one from the B main. Up just into the top ten right now. But the battle still on for the race lead. Henshaw's up the inside of Berkeley to turn number one. Henshaw seen the lap traffic up ahead and thought if I get down the inside, he might block him. Berkeley, for the time being, shuts the door on Henshaw. Henshaw again goes down the inside. He's trying to do the same oh, thing. Berkeley contact. cuts him off and said, I've got to get through before the lap traffic. That but... Gimby 10 car has a lot of engine, Brendan. And now here comes Bagel to the inside of Henshaw. The two Gimby cars grab doors into turn number one. Oh, Henshaw went so deep to stop getting past then. It almost cost him. I tell you, there's some lap traffic coming up ahead. Just quietly, Brain. They're not going to be able to negotiate that quite as easily. It's going to get interesting here now as Bagel gets it all into shape. Leicester starting to close in massively. A little bit of smoke from the other right rear the 59 machine. Halfway home. 20 down, 20 to go. Darren Leicester is using that top line. He's going to be very competitive coming up to these top three. Everyone else is sort of spaced out, running their own race. But these top guys, they're catching the back of this field. It's Berkeley, still from Henshaw. Ed Pager with Leicester running the concrete. I've heard someone slap the ball pretty hard. Not sure where it was. Henshaw now to the inside of Berkeley. They can't make contact on entrance door to door. 
Oh, Shear is out. I think it was Shear who came past the control tower. Henshaw again to the inside of Berkeley, but Berkeley's out the hole and out on top. Gonna run door to door. Berkeley cuts across his nose on the exit. Old Blue Race leads to the Thunderbird 30. We'll be out of this one. Brad Shear is unfortunate luck in feature races continues. He'll get a call now to go down. Oh, he doesn't get it. He doesn't get it. He's got to stay out of the way. The leader's going through. Berkeley and Henshaw still battling. That's tough like Shearer. He gets off the racetrack. We're going to stay racing. That advantage Travis Hutchinson back up into fifth place. Right front flat, I think, for Brad Shearer. So our lap traffic now coming into effect. Berkeley still got Henshaw and Hager close by Leicester. Then it's Hutchinson. Oh, Leicester, very close to Benza. Got to that loose stuff right against the concrete. Cost him a lot of time out of turn two. These three cars. Oh, Jarius, we're going to have our first yellow. Brendan Jarius racing with Michael Johnson. He got into the side of Johnson and spun around. I thought, I thought we were going to get there. Oh, it was about to get very, very interesting. I was looking forward to some dicey lap traffic passing. 15 laps left to go. So, O'Brien out of this one. A green one. So, Berkeley, Henshaw, Hagel, Lester, Hutchinson, Hazelgrove, Gary Harris Jr., Martin, and Jordan. Lights go green, we're away, and man, what a start from Henshaw. He goes straight to the inside of Berkeley to turn number one. Dan Henshaw with the run, will take the race lead down the back straight away. Man, you're right, Braden, that car's got some motor, all right. Just flew past the Queensland champ like he was not even there. And Pagel's going to try and battle as well. Berkeley goes from first to third. Lester against the wall. Big fan of work coming off the seven car of Hutchinson. Darren Lester's out of this one. Lester's gone. Oh, big contact with the 88 of Barbala. Dan Henshaw will lead this one from Chris Pagel. Joel Berkeley running in third. Rick Hazelbro will be in fourth and a yellow flag for panel work on the front straightaway. Oh my goodness, what a start. An absolute heartbreak for Darren Lester. I tell you what, if he finished half of the races that he ran, that guy would be an incredibly accomplished production sedan racer. So, Interesting there. I wonder if Berkeley has a small problem. Is his car just running a little bit off? Like it just sounds like it's got a slight, like an exhaust leak or something as it's coming past the control tower. Grove's been very fast tonight as well. So if Berkeley has another restart like the last. He could be in trouble, but Dan Henshaw, boy, that car's got some motor. So lights go green and we're away. Down the main street, they come. Hager wants to go with Henshaw. Berkeley still on the outside, Hazelgrove, Hutchinson, and Gary Harris Jr. And Berkeley with some engine issues, I reckon. I know he blew an engine at, I think it was Toowoomba, a few weeks ago before Kingaroy. Got a hold of reputable engines. Dane Francis to put an engine together in a nick of time. They said it wasn't going to be a dynamite race engine, but it was enough to get him by for the time being, so. Maybe that engine is just starting to show its weaknesses right now. It's done a lot of running since they put it in. Hard running. Joel just trying to hang on with these front two cars, Henshaw and Pagel. It's been a while since Pagel's been on the top step and I think Henshaw would absolutely love to put the Q1 on the door. He's been there or thereabouts for a long time. Well, the two Gimpy drivers lead this one. We're getting close to the 10 to go. Sprint race left to the end now. Throw caution to the win. It's all about going as quickly around this 
460 plane circuit as you get off up. Oh, it gets all locked up in the rear end of Gary Harris Jr. They somehow get, get away with it. And Bridget Cook now is in that battle inside the top 10, Brendo. Cook is on a move. He's got the inside of Ash Graham as they head into turn number three. How about this lightning play from Henshaw and Pagel right now? These two drivers have done plenty of laps against each other in production so they're racing. And it comes down to these two for the 2022 Queensland title. There's about a tenth and a half separating the top two for the last 40 laps. This is ridiculous. And sure, we're just clear track in front of him. Leading a Queensland title and he sees no one. Be able to put in consistent lap after lap. Oh, Pagel got to the bumper of Henshaw through three and four. Bit of a bubble there for the Gimpy 10 as Pagel tries to challenge him once more. Pagel with three Queensland titles to his name already in production. Trying to be the first man to add four. Henshaw trying to get the Queensland one on the door for the first time in his career. Berkeley still dropping backs in there in third place. Hazelgrove and Hutchinson will trail into one. Hazelgrove's engine's gone. Started splattering and popping. And they come out of turn number two. The Gimby six car is on its last limbs now. Trying to hold it on. Some sort of gremlins found its way into the Gimby six. Down the back straight, our leaders go. It's still Henshaw and Pagel. No white flag just yet. Gary Harris Jr. running a six spot. Comes to the back of Hazel Grove trying to advance his position up to the top five. But here comes Bridget Cook. The glass of 15 has the door slammed in his face. Five to go. Five laps remaining. Gary Harris Jr. is up to fifth spot now. We've got a wheel off both wood drives. Lost a right rear wheel. And the yellow comes out with five to go. Hold on to your hats, folks. A right rear. I don't see that every day. The wheels start to set. I've had enough of that. Snappity snap. Well, that's reassuring to the crew members to make sure they definitely didn't lose the, leave the wheel nuts loose. Henshaw, Pagel, Berkeley sitting a fair way back. You're going to try and get a bit of a jumpy, a bit of a cheeky move from Berkeley. Well, it's take off. Green. We're away. Not a bad race out at all from Berkeley. As Hazelgrove finally retires to give me six in the Gary Harris Jr. Up into the top five. Henshaw pulls a gap on Chris Baker for the race lead. Down the front straight they go. And Dan Henshaw has checked that out front. We've got Beto turning around in turn number three. Johnson and Harkin coming onto the scene very late. Wants to get a good jump. Does so, but Hutcho wants to go down the inside. Sends it on the Queensland one. Looks like he's going to fumble his way through. And Gary Harris Jr. is going to go as well. And as Cook. Berkeley definitely not on song. Down the front straight they go. Henshaw, no one's going to start oh. this time. Berkeley's going backwards. Harris Jr. solidifies up into fourth place. And Barber parks it into turn one. Looks like that front suspension's gone on Barber's car, it's all dropped. The 
race to, that just keeps on giving. So, what you didn't see down on the main straightaway here, Berkeley was on the outside of Gary Harris Jr. Henshaw leads from Pagel to Hutchinson. To Harris to Berkeley. Through turns three and four. Green flag of a race into turn one. Down into turn one they go. Pagel tries to go underneath, as does Junior. On the inside of Hutchinson. Berkeley to the outside now. Down the back straight they come as Johnson's car has expired. He's going to be out of this one. Through three and four once more and down the front straight of Henshaw. Still your leader. Two laps remaining. Berkeley and Harris battling it out for fourth and fifth. Berkeley on the top side goes huge. Gremlins cleared. Down the back straight they go down Henshaw. And the side will lead to Chris Bagel. Through turns three and four. They're going to collect the white flag. One more lap to go. Last lap for the Gibby number 10. Down the main straight they come in through one and two. Chris Pagel all over the rear bumper. Down the back straight. It's going to be Henshaw's night. He's just got one lap car to negotiate in the final corner of a Queensland title, but he's going to do it. Dan Henshaw is your new Queensland champion. Chris Pagel home for two, set for third. Gary Harris Jr. for fourth. Berkeley will get fifth. Dan Henshaw, your Queensland champion. And Pagel comes alongside, gives him a thumbs up. Those two have raced with nothing between them. And as he makes his way through the race, Jack Lanzerman makes some noise for your new Queensland champ from Gippy. Daniel Henshaw! Some circle work on the back straight and straight into victory lane! Dan, we're going to have our presentation in the pits after this. Before that, mate, you are the 2022 Production Sedan Queensland Champion. Congratulations. Oh, it's unreal. Um, yeah, the stopper just kept coming. I just wanted to finish it. So, no, it's good. I'm happy. Yeah, great. Mate, had some hard charges there. Had some work to do with Berkeley, with Pagel. And to beat those guys on a night like this, that's pretty special. I had a good start, which set me up for the race, obviously. And then... um. I could feel Chris, my brother in all behind me, giving me a push every now and again. So, um, no, nah, that was, I'm happy. Though. Yeah, that's great. Mate, plenty of people to thank for this ride. Oh, everyone that's helped out over the years. Nick, Gary, um, parents, uh, the missus, the kids, everybody else there. Yeah. Yep, cheers. Mate, congratulations. Yeah, mate. Cheers. One more time for your new Queensland champ. Put your hands together, make some noise for Daniel Henshaw.